everyone, Just for Sweets here. Today I'm going to make a food pantry item. I have some items in my refrigerator that I need to use up, and last week um, one of the girls at work made this really delicious uh, fruit salsa, and I already have a fruit salsa recipe uh, that I've done, but this is one of my uh, food storage ones, so it's using up the items that I have in my home. So this one's gonna be a little bit different than the other one. And um, I just, I don't want to waste anything, so I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot and take it to work for everyone today. So basically what I have in front of me is I have some sweet peppers. They come in the bag at Costco or whatever, the sweet mini peppers. I chopped up three of those. I have two jalapenos that I seeded and chopped up. I went ahead and pre-chopped so you didn't have to sit through all that boring stuff. I also chopped up, um, I had a little bit of a red onion left, and I don't know that I'll use all of it, but I went ahead and just chopped it all up. So I have some red onion. I have some Roma tomatoes. I have some frozen uh, mixed fruit, which is peaches, mango, and pineapple. But I also have some fresh pineapple in this Tupperware right here that needs to be used up immediately. So that's the pineapple I'll be using. I have my garlic from my freezer where I chopped garlic and stored it. I've got some cilantro that I need to use up, and then I have some strawberries that I've washed, and those also need to be used up. So this is going to be really good with some uh, tortilla chips, and I just bought some uh, white corn tortilla chips to serve with these today. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, uh, like I said, I pre-chopped all that, but what we do want to do is make sure you have a nice handy bowl. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our tomatoes and our strawberries because I want the chunkier stuff to be at the bottom. You also are going to need some lime juice, and I may even put some lemon zest in my salsa. Uh, I prefer fresh lime juice. However, this is a food pantry item, and I do not have any on hand. So um, you have to add a little acidity to this, and uh, this is what I'm going to add. And if you prefer, I mean, I do have lemons. I could use lemon juice if I want to as well, but I like the zest of the lime a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how I want to chop my tomatoes because I want them to be a little bit chunkier, kind of like a pico de gallo. So I don't want to mash them to death. So I'm just going through, and I don't care if the little seeds and everything are in there, it's all going to mix together. And I'm telling you, it was absolutely delicious. So you can see how I kind of chunk them up, just little little pieces, but not to the fine consistency that these are because I want people to get chunks on their chips. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw those in there. And I know you probably think, ew, fruit and tomatoes. Tomato is a fruit uh, all together, but it is ac actually a very good combo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep chopping these tomatoes. And like I said, we'll just chop them into the, the pieces, kind of like a pico de, de gallo consistency. And this can be done really quick. Really, the major part of this is doing all the chopping. And I just like to use a little steak knife when I chop my vegetables like this. It's easier on me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep chopping up these tomatoes. And we will come back and we will start on our strawberries and get those chopping as well. Okay, so the tomatoes are all chopped and they're in the bowl. I just kind of wipe some of the seeds away. We're just mixing everything together anyway. So um, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut up our strawberries. And we want to do the same kind of method that we did with the tomatoes where you have kind of some chunks, not too big, but not, not completely tiny either. I like to get some of the chunkiness and then you get the sweet and the spicy in there. So I would say that we're probably going to put, these are small to medium strawberries. I'd say I'm probably going to put about six of those in there, maybe, maybe seven. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. So you can do as many as you like. Remember, you're going to be adding pineapple, mango, and some peaches as well. So uh, just do it according to the way you, you like it. Um, this is a great thing as uh as well as serving with chips, um, this is really good to serve over grilled chicken or grilled fish. You could do it on pork if you want to. I wouldn't suggest doing it over beef. It would probably taste a little weird, but pork, chicken, fish, I think it would be good on all three of those. All right, so we're gonna keep chopping these strawberries, and like I said, I'm gonna do about six or seven of them, and we'll be right back to do some more. Okay, so we put seven strawberries in there, and you can see everything's all chopped up. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our fresh pineapple. And I'm going to make that kind of chunky as well. And we will probably only need two slices. My daughter actually cut a fresh pineapple and she just did it in the slices. And she just cut it in slices like that. So I'm just going to kind of take those and just do little chops. That's going to give us quite a bit of pineapple. Pine, pineapple. <laughs> How'd you like that? Pineapple. And uh, then we'll probably use two full slices and put that in there. And that's going to add a little bit of tang, tartness, sweetness. Pineapple is absolutely wonderful. And we're getting into that time of year where fresh fruit is coming out. And it is my favorite time because I like fresh fruit a lot better. So I'm excited about that. All right, so I'm going to continue slicing this pineapple, and then we will come back and we will do our mango, which is frozen, mango and peaches. Um, actually, I won't even come back. I'll just go ahead and finish these since we're almost done. The pineapple cuts up fairly quickly. So if you want to and you want to make it a finer chop, just take another knife and kind of try a, a larger knife. You can kind of go over it just like this and make yourself a finer chop without it getting to be too fine. If I use a processor or a chopper, I tend to do it too fine. So if I do it this way, then I can kind of break it up a little bit and have a little bit more control over it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put all that pineapple in there. Like I said, that was two rings of fresh pineapple. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm mixing this all up. I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh jalapeno and I'm going to add my sweet peppers and I'm going to add my red onion and I think I'll probably just do a couple tablespoons of the red onion because it's it's fairly strong. So I'm going to let those flavors all start marrying with the fruit. I'm going to mix those all in just like that. You can see how it's starting to become a salsa. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some of this frozen fruit that I have that needs to be used up and I'm going to kind of try to pick out the pineapple because I've already put pineapple in there and try to just pick out the peaches and the mangoes. And I think with this I may, because it's frozen and cold, I may just chop that up just like so. Now this is my little handy dandy chopper. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've seen that before. And don't worry about it being frozen. It will kind of, it'll defrost probably before I get to work. I'm not going to worry too much about if I have pineapple in there, but I just want to make sure I get some mango and some peaches. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to dice that. All right. This one needs a little bit more. It's cold. That's why I don't want to do it with my hands. It's still a little bit frozen. Okay, and so now we've got that in there as well. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna mix this all together. You can see I'm using my knife, but that's all right. Okay, so mix that pineapple and mango in, I'm sorry, the peaches and the mango in with your pineapple, strawberries, tomatoes, onions, and all that. All right, so we did that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead, and I know garlic with fruit, Trust me, it'll blend in well. So we are going to take some of our storage garlic that we store in the freezer, and I'm going to add just about one teaspoon of garlic to that. And we want to go ahead and we want to add a little bit of our lime juice. And I think what I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon or two of lime juice to this as well. Like I said, I prefer fresh lime juice, but in, in a pinch and doing it from your pantry, you use what you have. This is what I have. Okay, now we're going to add a dash of salt to this, and this is actually going to bring out some of the uh, sweetness and the flavors into our salsa. So I'm going to add mm, roughly about a half a teaspoon or so, do it to taste, to our fruit salsa. All right, now one of the main ingredients that we definitely need is cilantro that makes the salsa or chunky pico de gallo here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, I've already washed this. 
So I'm going to use uh, Linda's trick from Linda's Pantry and kind of roll it up and just start chopping. And you can add as much as you like or as little as you like. I love cilantro, fresh cilantro, and so I want to be able to taste it in there. So I'm just going to kind of give it a rough chop because you want kind of those chunkier leaves. You don't want it to be too tiny, but you don't want big, big chunks of stems or anything either. So just go ahead and chop that up. And we're going to go ahead and throw that into our salsa. And like I said, if you want to add some um, zest, like some lemon zest or some lime zest to this, you can. I may add a little bit of lemon zest. I don't know. I'm going to have to taste it first. I like the hint of the lime in it, so I may just stick with that. All right. So there you go. Let's get all this out of the way. The main thing that takes so long is the chopping. Other than that, this is a very quick thing to put together. And you can do it in a matter of minutes if you've got everything chopped. And you can probably use many items that you may have in your refrigerator already. Like I said, I had some fruit that needed to be used up and some jalapenos. It just all kind of came together. But if not, you can go buy what you like. Okay, I'm going to take a little, I'm just making sure it's stirred up here. I'm going to take a little taste, and like I said, I'm going to take this to the girls at work today with some chips. Perfect. It's got a nice balance of sweetness and spicy, and the salt brings out those flavors. It's absolutely perfect. So this is going to go wonderful with the chips. I stuck that in my mouth. I don't want to put that back in my salsa. I'm going to give it one more last quick stir. And this is completely done. All food pantry style. I hope you get a chance to make this. Serve it with chips for an event or, like I said, uh, over grilled chicken breast, pork, pork roast, fish. You can even serve it with uh, shrimp. It would be wonderful. So, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And join my Facebook pages Just for Sweets and my group page recipe book. And until next time, next video, have a wonderful day and God bless.